welcome back to the boot tragedies obviously as we all know Tom matthew signed with the saints man uh, it's basically two-year 18 million dollar deal forget all of those other numbers he's basically signed a two-year deal with the saints which is good uh i think he has about two prom years left in him and let's get this straight out the way man in one-on-one -on -one coverage, Tyron Matthews not the same when he came out of college. He won't be locking up number one receivers or number two receivers or anything like that. But the things he does well, he does really, really well. He can obviously still go at uh, tight ends. He can still go at running backs out the backfield. That's his best, um, you know, attribute when it comes to coverage. He's also just like a free roamer. He can play quarterback spot, things like that if you have a scrambling quarterback. But we're just going to watch him, uh, and we'll just talk about it. I mean, this is a beautiful interception right here. Uh, we just run this back. Obviously, he's not even guarding this guy. Um, he just got to be smart, man. It's third and long right here. It's third and long. He's guarding the full ball, fullback right here. I think that's Pat Ricard. He's guarding the fullback. So this fullback runs a, a five-yard st stop. Look where the first down line is. It's no need to jump that route. I know you're in man-to-man. -man. It's no need for him to go right there. If Lamar Jackson throws that guy the ball, he makes that tackle. It's fourth down. It's over. So what he what does he does? You know, he's reading the quarterback. He's not even worrying about that fullback once he runs that stop. Reading the quarterback eyes. Reading the quarterback eyes. Lamar tries to fit a pass in, which he may actually fit in between those two defenders. But Tyne's reading that. Hey, we take those. Absolute beautiful play right there. That's just being smart. That's called being a football player, man. A lot of guys... They'll just guard that man, lock that fullback up, and technically, you did your job. If you guard that fullback, you know, you run up on the stop route, you did your job right here. But he reads the play, he's playing football, makes the interception. And of course, you know, time match is not taking the knee. He's going to try to run it out every time. All right, coming here, another good play from time. Once again, he's not guarding this man. He's not guarding this man. I think that's Donnerby or whatever his name is. He's guarding. Now, obviously, Marquise Brown is wide open at the beginning. Uh, Lamar Jackson just doesn't see him. Once Lamar Jackson see him, Tyron already sees it. Oh, this guy's wide open. I need to break. Look at this window right here. This should be a touchdown. That's really on Lamar Jackson. But he sees him late. Tyron breaks on this play. You know, gets a hand on it. Once again, playing football, not guarding that man. His man kind of runs, runs an over route. Lamar Jackson won't throw that ball to this receiver, man. Look at these three guys right here. He's not going to throw it across his body. That would be a, a dumb play by Lamar uh, if he did that. So, Tyron recognizes that, breaks on his ball, gets, gets a hand on it. Perfect play. Now, right here, this is one of my favorite plays because it's a really a, bon a blown play right here by the, uh, by the Chiefs. The Eagles actually have them. They have them caught in this blitz. And let's just watch this. Gets a hand on this ball. And let me tell you, all right, on this play here, usually the outside guy, the furthest guy outside, has to pick up this running back. Uh, but since the Chiefs are caught kind of in this blitz right here, this defensive end technically has that responsibility. A defensive end is never going to do that. So Tyron... Technically, is the outside guy on here. And watch how he notices it late. He's like, oh, snap. This running back, he's going to be wide open. You see him break towards the sideline right here? Because this guy catches this. I mean, look at the space. Just look at the space. It's him. It's the safety. And, and that's a lot of space. We'll watch it full speed one time. Watch how at the last second, Tyron notices this running back is going to be wide open. And he kind of, you know, uh, peels off to him. Excellent play. Because like I said, if he catches that... And he may still be running, man. This is a good play off of a blitz. I'm not sure what they called, but um, if I had to guess, Tyron's supposed to be responsible for this guy, but didn't work out that way. He picks it up late, gets a hand on it. Good, good play. Because that's first and 15 right there as well, man. You don't want to give up that on first and 15. Tyron on the line of scrimmage, man. We'll watch this. All right. I mean, this is where he's just... This is where he's just good, man. He's just good. He has outside containment on this play, obviously, so he can't let, you know, anyone get outside of him. And with the tight end knowing that, you know, he's going to fake outside and then jump inside very, very quick and make that tackle. I mean, that's excellent. 
you can't coach it up better. He's basically playing outside linebacker right here, man. He's just on the line of scrimmage, in the box. As you can see, they only have two linebackers standing up, and he's basically that third linebacker right there. I mean, beats the tight end with ease, with ease right there, makes the play. You need this, man, especially uh, teams are trying to run the clock out, uh, like short yardage situations, a bunch of stuff, you know, where he's going to be an X factor for the Saints. This is huge for a guy that, can, that that size can play in the box that quick, plays it perfect, makes the tackle. You need that. He's, he's going to be good in the line, you know, on the line of scrimmage, in the box, things like that. He's just going to be a good, good player. The Saints really won't. You know, use him as a deep third safety. I think if you use him as a deep third safety, you're taking away his ability. He's good around the football. Him 40 yards away from the football is not what he does, you know, the best. He can do it, but I don't think that's the best use for him. Now, he's going to come on a delayed blitz right here. Another perfect play from him. And this is good. That's Derrick Henry. That's a one-on-one -on -one tackle. In the perfect, I mean, the thing he does is so great about it. He's obviously coming late on this blitz. Times it up perfect where he's unblocked. And now you have to worry about this play action. So he take, he needs to come right down this line of scrimmage just in case it's a play action. He can, he'll be able to pull peel off. He's coming right down the line. That's what you taught. Breaks down. Makes the tackle on Derrick Henry. I mean, excellent, excellent, excellent. Once again, we're on the line of scrimmage. You can't find too many safeties that can play the line of scrimmage like he can play it. Uh, and also cover the way he can cover. He's he's one of one when it comes to that. Once again, tight ends can't block him. He's he's way smaller than these tight ends. These tight ends are way stronger than him. But he's a football player, man. That's the one thing I like about him. He is a football player. Once again, he has outside outside containment on here. He cannot let Derrick Henry bounce this outside. You definitely don't want Derrick Henry bouncing this outside. So watch. He jumps to this outside shoulder. So Derrick Henry has to cut it up. He has to cut it up. Now, if you see, hey, it's a hole coming there. You see this hole, it's Derrick Henry. He gets a full hit of steam. He might be on to something. But, I mean, look at this. It's blocked perfectly. Everyone except the tight end on Tyron. Tyron beats his guy. Derrick Henry has to try to cut it back up. He ends up making a play. I mean, this is blocked. Perfect, perfect, perfect from the Titans. Except Tyron Matthew beats his guy. I mean, that's what you want. That's what you want right there. That's an excellent play, man. There's so many more plays I can do. You know, with Tyron Matthew, with QB spy, him good in coverage. He covered uh, Darren Waller very, very good this year. But, man, the Saints are going to move him around, play him at different positions. Uh, obviously, it just keeps Gordon Johnson in that nickel roll because now you got Tyron Matthew who can be the inner box safety, which I think Gordon Johnson would be great at. But he's going to probably stay that nickel roll. Marcus May is going to probably, you know, rotate deep third with P.J. Williams uh, and Marcus May. So we're going to have options, man. We're going to have options. Since Tyron, if, if a corner goes down, you need him to play corner, he can line up at corner. He can do that as well. So he's very, very versatile. And I would like, you know, see the lineups where it's just him and DeMario at linebacker on, on the field at one point. Or, you know, DeMario, Warner, and Tyron at linebacker. It's going to be so many different roles for him. That's the, you know, that's what's good about all of our DBs. They're not just one dimensional. They can all play a lot of different positions. But Tyron, man, he's going to be an X factor. He's going to be lined up at corner. Outside linebacker, free safety, strong safety. You know, you, you just never know where he's going to be. And that makes it tough for defenses. It makes it tough for quarterbacks because usually you know where all 11 guys are going to be lined up. Now you got this, this small guy who's a real, real good football player lining up in so many different spots. It's going to make, make, you know, offense much more difficult to block him, you know, uh, pass responsibilities, all type of things. So I think Tyron is going to be a real, real good addition to this team. Obviously, man, and I, I'm excited to see how Dennis Allen uses him. We really haven't had a guy that we can use in this, you know, uh, in this system like that. It's always everybody's kind of had an established role, outside corner, nickel corner, deep safety, safety in the box, but not Tyron can do it all, and I'm excited to see what we use him. And let me know what y'all think about Tyron, how we're going to use him, what y'all think the best fit for him. Obviously, in the box is, I think, his best bet, you know, to make an instant impact. Obviously, blitzing, uh, run game, all of that. He can, he can cover, so man, hey, plenty, plenty of options, man. I'm excited. Um, I'm definitely going to drop a video on kind of, you know, our starting lineups uh, in the roster so far. But as always, man, it's the Blue Tragedies, and I'm out.